Hello, my loves. It's Kasha Plannerista 101. I'm going to take a sip of coffee and let's get planning. So today I'm going to be planning for the week of August 29th through September 4th. Um, and I am going to use the planting sticker book, um, seasonal fun. I just can't get enough of these books. I just got them. This is my first um, order from that shop and I can't get enough of those stickers. I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. I am working on creating this beachy, beautiful vibe. So as you can see, I'm creating kind of like a marina type of situation up here. And as I'm doing that, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. I really hope you will like it here. If you have been here before and you're coming back to spend more time with me, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I can't express that enough. So welcome and let's enjoy so i am creating this beach vibe very much beachy on this page i think i'm going to be using most of these stickers to create a fun sensation it's kind of also like a vacation mode so if, even if it's middle of winter and you get these stickers but you're going to a tropical vacation which that's my preference um you can use these stickers truly anytime because you're a planner you can do whatever you want but if you're trying to uh play with the theme of your life and stuff like that that might be how you do it okay i'm gonna add some water right there and some more sand because again two pages right i do have to say that planting stickers are quite uh thick they're very well made um not necessarily the clear ones but the paper ones are much thicker than what i'm used to so you get definitely a quality in there Okay, I'm going to add a there we go, a lighthouse and then a boat. Yep, I think that's good. Sometimes I do like just creating scenes on the bottom and doing everything else on the top but i mean i have a couple elements that have to go in the air so we shall see okay let's add a few more so i am using the mega box a sticker book from the happy planner and finding appropriate colors to kind of fill in the spread so i think i want to go with a uh, kind of muted color so it doesn't take over the spread and i use some yellow for sand and sun and i think i want to use a couple circles Okay, let's see. I think that works. I need one more circle, I think, for Tuesday. And then I need smaller boxes for my work schedule, as always, since this is my catch-all. 
everything goes in here um, this is probably the most used planner in my life I use every damn every single one every single day except the work and budget but um, this one probably gets flipped to the most at home um, I flip it at work and I need to add something so it does get quite a few mileage okay one more circle let's see maybe I'll do the sand color let's do that and then I can put the circle right there and that will still give me room for to-do list okay and then to-do list you know and I'm gonna add some more elements because I feel like it's not enough so I'm gonna add a blanket right there and I'll add some shoes okay there we go let's see if i can add some flowers to brighten up the spread a little okay i think that looks pretty good now it's time to do some actual checklists so i looked for colors to match this but i think i'm just gonna do black to make it stand out for myself i usually like some black bullet points whenever i have a colorful spread like this okay and Thursday couple left and then we shall be all set it's almost done I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and of course comment let me know if you guys have used the plan thing stickers and if you do which one's your favorite i ordered quite a bit i am going to be posting a haul very very soon with all of the flip throughs but that's all i had for you guys today i hope you like it and i will see you very very soon for another plan with me thanks for joining today bye